when we were in Warsaw, we were loading the ships to bring everything aboard uh, on shore. Set up the fuel dump, set up the ammo dump, set up the supply dumps. Then we were taking train runs. They knew we were going to go to the reservoir. Nobody knew in our time, in our outfit. We were running train runs up to Hung Nam and Ham Hung. And uh, when we finally got up there to set up a new fuel dump and uh, supply dump, we were getting a lot of uh, um, train runs. We were getting ambushed. Now, was it by Koreans? Yeah, the North Koreans. North Koreans. We're already in North Korea now. This is above the 38 barrel. So the train runs, we're going up there, loaded up with supplies. And when we finally got in there, you know, we ambushed. Every train we had was ambushed. I lost four or five good buddies on those ambush runs. And at this point, you are just 18 years old. Just turned 18. What was that like for you as an 18-year-old? I was scared. Mm -hmm. If anybody said they weren't scared, they're lying. You had to be scared. Uh, it, it, it was an experience that you, you only hope you see once in your lifetime. But we've seen several of them in Korea. And losing friends, what was that like for you? That hurt. Mm -hmm. One guy to get on a train run over there. I was with him about a week before we left Lejeune. And he got a nice tattoo on his arm. And the North Koreans let him have it right through the tattoo. Now, when you say you're ambushed, how close were you in combat with these North Koreans? Well, it was close enough to say that uh, we could see they had brown eyes, but we never knew what kind of uniform they had. And they would just come aboard ship and start raking it with fire, with uh, ammunition fire. Uh, the night that my buddy got it, he was in the front of a train where they, they had set up a 30 caliber machine gun and they, they hit him first. And then they get the other gunner and they, owned the, they just about owned the train. We were in the back and we were able to write, get rid of them all by machine gun fire. And then they let us go through. How long would something like that take from the time that your friend got hit to the time that you were able to take the train back and have control? It, 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 seemed, it seemed like uh, hours, but really it was a very short period of time very few firefights last an awful, awful long time, unless you really get the enemies get heavily loaded with ammunition and stuff like that. But that there, we would get in that little skirmish and uh, put a couple of guys out on watch so the guys would get a few Zs to sleep a little bit, because this was a, they always hit us at night. Never hit us during the day, it was always at night. It always be right at dusk. And you couldn't see them that good, but you knew they were there. And when they hit you, you just fight back.